Hi guys, Virtus Education here with episode 5 of the HTML web programming tutorial series. And in this episode, we're going to be showing you how to create uh, headings inside of your website. In addition to that, we're also going to be showing you how to create different levels of headings, uh, such as primary headings, secondary headings, tertiary headings, going all the way up to number 6. And I'm also going to be showing you how to uh, create horizontal lines. So you can see just a, a few... Uh, of the uh, few bits uh, that we've done throughout the series as of so far in this little website here. So let's just go ahead and uh, show you how to create some uh, very basic headings. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete my code here, press save and refresh and we're going to get to where we was in the previous video. So uh, when if you're creating a heading you need to keep in mind how important uh, that heading is, you know whether it's going to be a, a primary heading, a secondary heading and so on and so forth. HTML actually allows us a set of tags uh, that we can use to pretty much create uh, different headings with more importance uh, spanning from 1 to 6. So for example if I just go ahead and use the h1 tags as you can see here just standard tags h1 and then just close it off the same way. Basically you just create these tags and then you can type inside of these whatever you want the heading to be. So I'm just going to type inside of this heading 1 and then I'm just going to use the same sort of heading tags, but I'm going to use two instead. And this is going to be heading two, and so on and so forth. And you can see as I increase the number, it changes, um, you know, pretty much the importance it is. So number one, you know, H1 is going to be the most important. H2 is going to be uh, second in terms of uh importance and so on and so forth. So you can play around with uh, headings like that going all the way from H1 to H6. Now in most cases you probably won't get all the way over to H6 and at which point it's probably not best to use H6 anyway uh, due to the size it's probably just best to individually style uh, stuff. For example, you can see here H6 makes the text really small, at which point it's not quite necessarily a heading anymore. Not to most people anyway. So yeah, it's pretty much how you can create headings. So now we know, let's just go ahead and create a couple uh, sample headings for our website. So uh, once again, inside of our body, we're just going to use the H1 tags. So open H1, type in whatever we want our heading to be. So in this case, it's going to be uh my professional profile or you know whatever you want to set it to and then just close it off uh with the tags at the same level and you can see we've got uh, the title up here. Now one thing you may want to play around with when it comes to working with headings is uh, centering. If you want to you can go ahead and center certain headings just by using center tags just encapsulate those headings in, in those. So it's pretty much open bracket center and boom there you go and you can see that will be centered. Now let's just go ahead and create a secondary heading or a subheading so I'm gonna do that over here. So I'm just gonna call this um, I don't know second heading and I'm just going to use the h2 uh, tags to just go ahead and close it as per normal and if we just go ahead and refresh you can see pretty much how that works now I also said that I'd be going over how to create horizontal lines so to pretty much split up and manage your website you may want to put in in some kind of horizontal uh, divider so for example if you was to go onto Amazon or something like that you would see these being uh, used quite often so for example if I just go ahead and type in process or whatever you can see we've got these little dividers in uh, in between each and every single item just to keep everything all organized so if you want to create one of those, all you got to do is just uh, type in uh, the HR tag, as simple as that. You only need the one, you do not need two. So just one quick opening HR tag in between uh, you know, the, the content that you want to split up. So if I go ahead and save that and refresh, you can see that it is now in place here. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this tutorial. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. Feel free to just organize your page with headings and horizontal lines, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.